I'm here on the corner of Lamy and 9th Avenue in Bozeman, where Tuesday night through early Wednesday morning, this street was flooded with police cars and SWAT teams in efforts to detain a man that had barricaded himself in that house right there with a rifle. It was a wild night, not a lot of sleep, a lot of yelling in the background and all that jazz. Hannah Cantu lives down the street from the scene where tire marks from law enforcement are still visible in the yard. I remember we were semi asleep, woke up around midnight to probably a flashbang and some major sounds of like yelling and evacuations. According to a press release at around 5 p.m. on Tuesday, witnesses around Lamy Street observed a man retrieving an AR style rifle from his vehicle during a heated argument over parking. Concerned neighbors immediately contacted law enforcement, but when they arrived, the man had left the area. At around 9 p.m., police received information that the man, later identified as Seth Ryan Gomez, was back in his residence off 9th and Lamy with the rifle. Well, we get information that there was a weapon involved and then we have information to believe somebody may be barricaded inside of a residence. It really then kind of escalates our response. I spoke with patrol captain Hal Richardson, who arrived on scene around 2 a.m. Wednesday morning. Richardson tells me police were able to safely evacuate those in the residence not involved in the standoff and put the surrounding residents in a shelter in place. Obviously, if there's weapons involved and, you know, us bringing a special response team in, we just don't want somebody to be injured if if it did turn violent. Gomez was uncompliant and refused to leave. That's when Bozeman police activated their city county joint special response team. We just try to negotiate with them. We use loudspeakers, we use throw phones. We try to go through a whole bunch of stuff to try to get them out. Eyewitnesses say they also used what sounded like flashbangs. As you can see here, windows on the residence were shattered. And then they continued to yell, we know you're still in the house. Please come out with your arms up and no guns and all that kind of stuff. After several hours of failing efforts, Gomez was still barricaded in the residence. Around 5.30 a.m., the Lewis and Clark County and Helena Police SWAT team was called to the scene. The incident was finally resolved around 7 a.m. when officers deployed tear gas. The individual was taken into custody peacefully. Nobody got hurt, which is really the, the 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 ultimate goal. Gomez has been charged with four felony counts of assault with weapon. According to Richardson, Bozeman police doesn't see these long standoff situations often, but they do have the resources for when they occur. And Hannah, who's lived in the Lamy and Ninth area for years, tells me it was impressive to see those resources in action. They did a great job in handling it, as far as I can tell. There have been little incidences over the years and stuff like that, but never anything with this heavy of presence. In Bozeman, Cassidy Powers, MTN News.